Hello and welcome back to channel Code X. Hope you guys are doing well. This is your host Afzal and today we're gonna see this beautiful design concept which is called Soft UI. Let's delete everything and start with new artboard inside Adobe XD. Our key component will be circle in this design. Give it a shadow and remove the border. We will expand our shadow as the given values to get the feeling of depth. Nice and easy, right? Before we proceed, let's give background color to the shape and the whole body. Now we are going to duplicate the circle and provide shadow in reverse direction. Remember, you have to change only X and Y value and blur value will remain as it is. Give it a shadow of white color which reflects light intensity on the object. Remember, soft UI is all about replicating the real world object. And in real world, the shadows doesn't look complete black. It's actually the darker color of the object. We have pretty nice looking soft button ready. But the only thing remained is the edges are still harsh. In soft UI, edges should be smooth. For that, we'll add a blurriness of one pixel to our top layer, which gives us the smooth soft button, which looks like embossed on the surface. We have covered the most important part of this tutorial. Now let's go ahead and place this button at the top left corner Let's duplicate this button few more times to create play, next and previous button. I'm going to use icon for design plugin for all the necessary icons used in this design. Go ahead and download this plugin. You will find link in the description below. Now our icons are ready. Select them all and provide it a light black color. Let's move ahead and create album art for our music player. We will use the reverse emboss for album art. So instead of extruding it outwards, it will be pushed inwards. For that, let's use linear gradient and provide the darker color, the shade color to the top left corner and light color on the bottom right corner. Let's duplicate this shape. We are going to put our album art on top of this shape. A quick tip, you can use paste appearance feature. Just copy any data, right click and paste appearance. Again, let's give dark shadow on the bottom right corner and light shadow on the top left corner. I kind of started liking the design now itself, don't you? Using a medium font size and light black text color, we'll create title of the song and name of the singer or group. We have almost completed the page, just few more things to do. To create a seek bar, we are going to use difference feature of shapes. Place two shapes like this and click on difference button at top right corner to achieve something like this. Now we will create another path which will act as mask for the previous shape. And using intersection feature we will achieve this custom shape which will act as inner shadow for the seek bar. Let's rotate it 180 degree and place it on the top and give it a darker shadow. Let's use rectangle with rounded corner for current progress of music player. I'll be using gradient theme on this seek bar. Don't worry about the colors. I'll provide link for this Adobe XD design in the description below. Now it's pretty much clear that in soft UI design, 
every component will have two shadow. One is the light shadow and another is the dark shadow. Actually, the light one is the intensity of the light and the dark one is the shadow itself. We just provided radial gradient to seek bar thumb and added shadow to reflect the presence of light. Finally, let's add title to the page, current time and the length of audio below the seek bar. And our design is ready. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Hit that subscribe button now to get notified for future updates. In next tutorial, we'll achieve the same design in Flutter. Do like the video and provide your feedback in the comment section below. See you guys in the next one.